Hello and welcome to another Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Talk To Me, directed by Danny and Michael Philippou. Now horror definitely isn't my genre. I'm so sensitive to imagery on a screen. But I would say that this is a pretty good horror film. For me to watch a horror film, it has to have some qualities that elevate it above pure gruesome horror. Well, this certainly had some full-on gruesome horror in it, including several jump scares. But it's well made, it's quite scary, and it's a good storyline. The basic story is interesting and fun, and I think there are levels of deeper meaning in terms of the horror elements being a possible metaphor for something else. I like the general style of the filmmaking. It makes sense that the two filmmakers are previously successful YouTubers, I wasn't aware of them, but I took a look at their channel, Raka Raka. It's one of those trashy social media video channels that the more you watch it, it turns out to be really entertaining. A lot of the videos seem to be short horror and quite gruesome violence videos. Some of them are just entertaining in a silly way. For example, the Star Wars in public video did make me laugh. I think you can see something of the freedom of social media filmmaking in Talk To Me, but with a big bump up in quality, definitely not trashy. It's a bit of a slow burner at the start, and I was a bit confused by how the characters related to each other. It didn't really feel like that actually added anything to the experience, but it gradually fell into place. I like the link between the question of putting the deer out of its misery at the beginning and when there's a choice later to kill people on the same grounds. In terms of deeper meanings, I liked that the characters who had the biggest problem with their experience with the hands suffered from grief or dysfunction of some sort. There's definitely a parallel between the possession when holding the hand and drugs, the need to change the way you feel, and the ecstasy that comes with the hit. I also like that there's just a possibility that it's all in the heads of the people that experience the possession, and that if there's grief or dysfunction inside the person, that this will feed into the experience. I did have some questions about the coherency of the story at the end of the film, but I guess that you have to let go of everything making sense in a film like this. Actually, the more I've thought about it afterwards, the more I've thought the story is really well constructed. And the ending is perhaps a little obvious, but does bring it round to a satisfying conclusion. I think my slight uncertainty about it perhaps relates to the fact that I want it to have a happier ending. It's one reason why I don't enjoy horror, because the horror is the point. Overall, I do recommend this film, especially if you like a good horror. Thanks for watching. See you next time.